TMS, which is tetramethylsilane. Well, for a higher level, uh, when you look at a, a, a spectrum for the NMR, there'll probably be an, a little peak on the zero from the reference standard, which is TMS. So they put TMS into the sample, and then they tweak the NMR to try and line up the TMS peak with zero. And then you know everything else is going to work properly when it comes to the scale. So silane, well, that's related to methane, which would be carbon in the middle. So we have uh, four methyl groups for TMS. There are five reasons TMS is used. Reason number one is that the silicon is unlikely to be in your sample. And so the TMS, the silicon in the TMS, is going to put a peak far away from the other peaks in your sample. Your sample is probably going to have carbon and nitrogen, oxygen uh, attached to the hydrogen, not silicon. It's unreactive because the bonds in it are strong. It has a low boiling point because it has low surface area and only van der Waal bonding, it's non-polar. There's only one hydrogen environment in TMS, which means there's one peak on the NMR. And finally, it's soluble in most organic solvents, which are themselves non-polar or have non-polar aspects to them similar to TMS.